What's up, party people? It's your boy, Voltron Supreme, coming at you again with another Algorand video, and we're gonna mention Anchor 2. But first, we have to take another trip back to Brazil. So let's go back to Brazil. Let's go, vamos que vamos. Chegamos a no Brasil. We're here in Brazil. And why are we back in Brazil? Well, you know, we were looking at Algorand. We know Algorand's hitting South America hard. And I came across Bitfi. The company Bitfi, and it seems like Algorand is invested in Bitfi. And what's Bitfi about? Bitfi is trying to create a super app. If you saw my previous videos on Anchor, I've talked about super apps that, you know, they're trying to come out with some sort of super app. You know, uh, remember to talk about Anchor and crypto hasn't even got mobile yet? Those videos. And it's strange how the more you go deep into these companies, you start to find out that these clicks exist, that there are these connections between all these companies. Sometimes not directly, but they're there. So if they decide to, hey, well, we want to partner up with you, the connections were already there. So Bitfi is trying to create a super app. Super app is, it's sort of like an app that does multiple things, sort of like apps within the app. For example, you can do text messaging, you can do buying, selling, call people. You can do everything with just one app. You don't need to download multiple apps to do different things. So that's what a super app is. And Algorand is helping this company create a super app where you can buy crypto, sell crypto, purchase stuff with crypto, and do other things with just one app. And the company is based in Sao Paulo, Brazil and it goes to show, hey, Algorand is hitting South America hard. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are other companies Algorand's working with in other countries in South America. And why is this a big deal? Well, you gotta understand in South America, getting a bank account is not easy. It is not easy to get a bank account. Large portion of the country cannot bank with the traditional bank. You know, so it sucks, you know, because, you know, the world's going digital and you can't do much. So digital companies are becoming popular and crypto is becoming popular. So it's not it's time to take a jump start in it and come out with some sort of digital banking. That's also crypto. And that's what Bitfi is trying to do. And Anchor, Anchor. Well, Anchor's, Anchor's in a picture, too, because there's a strange connection. I know Algorand is helping them grow. So it's always good news to see Algorand hit in South America because we've seen our we've seen the previous videos where I talked about South America is the new gold rush. It's the new gold rush for crypto. And how's Anchor involved? Well, Anchor is not really directly involved, but I did notice that Bitfi works with Celo. Celo, Celo. Remember, I don't know how to pronounce the, their name, which is trying to do the same thing, but in the U.S. So it's trying to be like a super app inside the U.S. And who's working with Celo? Anchor. So we got Anchor, Celo, Bitfi, Algorand. So there's there's a chain there. There's a chain there. And you can also get a get a node on Anchor and go one click and you'll be on the Algorand chain. So those connections exist. So I love finding these connections. Anyway, I'm not affiliated with Anchor, Algorand, Bitfi, Cello. Always do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor. Safe investing and peace out, guys.